Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Erin's Book Club. I have a book review to do today and it's another finishing of a three book trilogy, only this one, unlike Kai's Journey, is done correctly. So the book review I do have to do today is Only Human. It's book three of the famous files by Sylvia Neville, I think is how you say it. First of all, such a beautiful cover. And let me say it's a good sized book and it ties in to the other covers. Sleeping Giants, okay, Waking Gods, Only Human. They all match. <laughs> um, the covers are, are wonderful and they all tie in. That being said, there, there are some things I'd like to bring up. First and foremost, it was an entertaining read. I enjoyed the book. It, it first of all started pretty jarringly because it's all written in like case files and journal entries and, and that kind of thing. So the, the new format is something I had to get used to, but that's not the book's fault. I knew what I was getting into when I started it. It just took me a while to get used to it. Once I got used to it, it was, it was a very good read. It was really well done. The ending, and again, not spoiler free, you know how I am. The ending was too neat, too tidy, too, we're going to fix this problem by bringing somebody else in. Um, even though I spent the entire book telling you how the human race is prideful and selfish and doesn't want to, to give up control and all of that, but we're going to bring somebody in, we're going to threaten to kill everybody if they don't do as they're told, and society will be built on that. So basically, you're recreating society with the same problems as what you were trying to fight, which maybe that's what the author was trying to, to make a point of. Like, But what I'm saying is you can't force peace. Like you can't say, well, you guys all have to get along and tolerate each other or I'll kill you. That, that doesn't, doesn't work. That's not peace. That's, that's governing through fear, which is what everybody was trying to, to rage against throughout the entire book. And it was like heavy handed, you know, it was, this is how society will behave when it's scared and it's out of its depth. They will trap people and put people in, in, concentration camps and kill people because they need somebody to blame and that's how society is and and you're you're slammed with that again and again and again but then at the end of the book you're you're saying well this this um overlord has threatened to kill you if you don't tolerate each other therefore it's going to work it's it's not it's not something that makes any sense in 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 my opinion and making it a big deal of these concentration camps we're doing that now. And you, you make the focus of the book that you're putting these people that you feel are less than you into these concentration camps and how bad they are. Just saying that, well, Hitler used to do it, therefore, you know, society is society. You can't harp on something that we're aware of and then just become self-aware to, to explain it away. It doesn't, it doesn't work for me, in my opinion. So, the political side of it and the government side of it was intriguing, but it was history repeated again and again and again. And oh, by the way, if you don't learn from history, you're going to repeat it again and again and again. It got to be pretty old. And it got to be that maybe the author doesn't think we understand the moral of the story because she just kept shoving it down our throats. But it was well done. It's just there's a few things that we don't need to be quite so heavy handed about. So I've made I've made a few notes about it. And I said, it's it's a good fast read. It's a bit jarring because it is based on logs and, and journal entries, which is, again, I knew what I was getting into. So I really can't complain about that. Um, it is really heavy handed, I said, on the political social front i.e. the example I gave was we'll be like by like Hitler by putting people in concentration camps, but because we become, become self-aware, that's okay. Then it needs to still be a deep book because we're aware that we're repeating what Hitler did. Doesn't really work for me. I think that can be done more subtly and you can, you can show that instead of flat out tell us that that's what's going on. Um, and the same, the, the, the one point I wanted to make is Every single one of the characters that you got to know had the exact same sense of humor. The exact same. It was this this witty, um, sarcastic, um, just dry sense of humor. And every single character had that same sense of humor. So it was hard to distinguish one from the other because they all talked and acted 
pretty much the same. The, the evil folk, of course, did it more. Um, that's what made them evil, is that the sense of humor was, was even worse. Um, and the, the lack of actually killing people off also was a bit, a bit bad. Um, but that is kind of secondary, because the novel, the series, is really basically political and what would society do if we had something that totally overpowered us. So I get that. But, wow, the, the characters were all basically the same. And there was very little character growth. It just, yeah, it was just each character was the different front of somebody's thoughts and opinions on, on the world. And, and other than the character growth, the story was good. The, the plot was good. There was some major faults, but nothing that took away from the enjoyment of the book. So... Any of you guys who like your sci-fi and, and that kind of thing, the, the Sleeping Giant series is actually a really good series to get into. Quick reads, short books, nice, nice fun time. But I will let you know when I have another book read. Thanks, guys.